good afternoon good morning good evening my fellow creative designers and content creators welcome once again to another exciting episode on this channel yeah welcome to once again to another exciting episode on this channel and in today's episode this is what we are going to design yes we are going to design this beautiful social media or instagram poster church flyer and then eventually we are going to do a mock-up of this yes we are going to do a mock-up of this and then if you want the mock-up or you want this and um, free psd file and the mock-up guys you know where to find it you know exactly where to find it it's right on my um, um, uh, my account yes it's been uploading and then kindly um, go there and then go and download it because this is what we'll be using it for the mock-up yes we'll design it this way and then we'll use this mock-up to just work on it and guys if you want this so please basically this is what you are going to design today and please if this seems to be interesting to you kindly stick around and let's go through and so please subscribe to this channel like and share comment and let me know how this channel is helping you in any other way so without wasting much time control and to open any document and you are going to use a special size you are going to use a special size that is you are going to create a customized size for it all right so this is what it will appear or this is how it will appear and then we are going to go by the first one which is what the um, um 1080 yes 1080 and then that is the width and then the height is 1440 yes so we have 1080 by 1440 resolution is 72 is for instagram social media handles and then you type the heading which is the um, social media poster all right so social media poster then everything is okay so you click on create and let's go all right so you have this interface with me first of all let's unlock this and then we are going to start with the background so i'll go to this side and then go to my gradient area all right so i'll go to the gradient and i have the gradient set i'll go here and then go and pick the gradients from a gradients pack i downloaded online don't worry i'll share the link with you for you to also get it yes i'll share the link with you for you to also get it and i think this is what i use i go here sorry 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 double click inside i'm not done yet now go here and set to radar and this is it this is it this is it exactly this is it this is it so click on ok and then i'm going to on more of the background all right so this is set nicely i'll go to my resources file i go to the download and add this nice download i had this from pinterest.com and don't worry i'll share it with you if you want to use it for your projects so i had it from pinterest.com so you can also check it out and get more resources file from there so for example those of you who have been asking where do you get your resources file from where do you get your resources file from i get a lot of them from pinterest.com and you can check it up and then download some for your project so now you click on ok and guys it's loading all right so downloading i'll hold alt and then hold the edge here and scale it up to cover the entire screen yes to cover the entire screen press enter and then i'll set opacity to 50 and then go to my blending option and set it to something like okay so we are going to set it the blending option to soft light and then yes then we go to um view then we go to um sorry 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 go to the uh, filter yes then go to blur and gaussian blur and let's set a Gaussian blur to it like something no no not a motion blur not a motion blur it's a Gaussian blur Gaussian blur good then 80 is okay so click on okay and then we just have the feel inside like that yes get the feel then let's put this and this in the group and call it background all right all right all right so our background is set nicely background is set nicely then go to view and go to guide and new guide layout and set guide here to 10 10 and uh, i'm sure this is okay this is okay or uh, what do you think let's set here to maybe one 
Ah. Okay, Mew, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Just let's set it okay like this. All right, so background is set. Let's work with the text. So click on T on the keyboard and then hit here and write your Thursday teaching service. Thursday teaching service. Good. So Thursday, Thursday teaching, then service. All right, and if it's okay, click on enter and then to check it and we are going to use a font called akira expanded yes we are going to use a font called akira expanded where are you good so akira expanded font that is what i'm going to use currently and that is it it sets nicely press ctrl t to set it and then scale it up nicely like this we make sure it doesn't go overboard that is why we set our guide so click it and make sure it's in the center like this so click on enter control a to select it and then be on the keyboard to center and align no 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 all right so center it's okay like this is okay control d to deselect it and then let's close the gap up let's close here up let's close here up and this is okay let's also close here up like this uh wait so maybe 250 will be okay so 250 will be okay yeah guys just set it depending on how you want yours yes set it depending on how you want yours control a let me center it again i think yeah this is okay and then drag it this way all right double click it and then type o s all right control t and then scale it up very big and then put it at the center because she set some OS for it. Control A to center it. Awesome, 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 awesome. Control D to deselect it. And let's see. Okay, 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 okay. So this is okay. Control, okay. For this, I think I'll add layer mask to it and then B on the keyboard. B again on the keyboard and set here. No, 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 control Z to be all right, all right, something like this is awesome. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. So, this is okay. Then, we are going to bring the image, yeah, we are going to bring the image into it, and then I have the image also on my pass. All right, so bring the image inside and then fill this side. Just add layer mask and then clear this side. And this is awesome for now. This is awesome for now. And then just be adding the text, adding the text, adding the text. So with this text, let's go and add them. Let's go and add them. Just you open it. I'll open it and then go and select everything, everything, everything here. Yes. For the purpose of tutorials, the tutorials not to be too long. That is why we are just selecting everything and then send it over there. So just that is it. I'll drag everything and then push it to this side and release it nicely like this. And then position it. Yes, just position it. Awesome like this. And control T. And then I think I need to resize it a bit like this. Guys, if it's okay. Is it okay? Yeah, I think this is awesome now. It's awesome now. And then control G to put it in a group and call it text. Text. And that is it. So this becomes the image and theme. Control G and then image. Image and the theme. Because the theme is at the back, which is what? The Thursday teaching service. Yes. Thursday teaching service and I think that one it should go up a bit or even the whole image and theme must go up a bit so let me use the arrow key to push it up nicely like this yes it should go up it should go up it should go up yeah yeah and awesome guys trust me this is okay this is okay this is okay this is okay so let's go and see we have another thing again to bring so we have this lens flare in which I drop them 
and don't worry i'll be sharing it with you so this is it i'll just drag it here and then release it nicely good yeah release it and i like how it's showing inside yeah I like how it's showing inside then the next thing again is this lens flare as again so this and this i'll just drag it like this and then release it on it boom and then position it well yeah let me position it well good 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 and then left with the last one which is this i'll just drag it this way and then bring it on top drag it this way where are you uh 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 is it on it? Yeah, it's on it. 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 Yeah, it's on it. It's on it. Where is it? Control T, and then let me position it properly. And you see how it's adding that nice feel inside. Yeah, you see how you just after bringing it, you turn it to what a soft light. Yes, turn it to a soft light. And I'm liking what I'm seeing. I'm beginning to like what I'm seeing. I'm just loving it. I'm just loving it. And if this is okay. Hold on, control G, and then call it what? Maybe glow or yes, glows. Glows, yeah. And then if you hide it, you write that this is the raw design. And after adding the glows, you get it nice like this. And when we are done, you are not done yet. I think your camera raw filter must be there. So control or shift and E on your keyboard that is if you are using windows for mac operating system people forgive me i don't know the shortcut for that and then right click and then convert to smart objects and let's go and do the magic we are going to add some beauty to the flyer so you go to filter then go to camera or filter and let's boost the whole flyer up let's boost it up let's boost it up just make it looking or make it looks catching that popping color or just make it look nice make it look nice just simple as that so please subscribe to this channel like share comment and let me know how this channel is helping up and guys i just realized that we hit 1k we were designing without even checking and we hit 1k we hit 1k we hit 1k and i'm so grateful whoever supported me whoever is on this channel whoever have subscribed in a way that you have contributed for or towards this 1k target in fact i'm so pleased and i don't even know how to thank you based on that i'll be giving out free bonanza in my upcoming videos yes maybe from this week or from this week going i'll be giving you free bonanza free bonanza yeah i'll be giving you a free bonanza for you supporting this channel for us to hit this 1k and guys it's quite amazing it's quite amazing and for those of you who are new here if you haven't not been if you are not part of this channel please do so just be part be part be part and let's grow together so i'm sure the camera work with that is ready and then let's learn so let me push this here a bit it's it's right in front of you so just experiment with it and you push it here like this and if it's not okay just be adjusting it let me go to contrast and then pull contrast let's see and i think this is awesome so i want black so let me push black to this side okay so black should be something like this and it's okay let me go to texture push texture backwards a bit and i think it's okay or oh, what do you think Texture should go uh, okay so two is okay clarity let's see clarity this is awesome let's see there is not anything that might be applicable guys if you turn it and you realize you're not getting the feel you want then means you need to reverse it back yeah means you need to reverse it back so if you are okay with it and you say okay you click on it and let's experiment and let's see the before and after so you see before and after guys the after look great the after look great trust me and if you are okay with it you click on okay for it to be applied onto it and it's showing in camera was being applied boom now you have something nice like this and guys this is how we were able or we were able to achieve this social media poster church flyer in photoshop for beginners 
try it and then let me know how it feels in the comment section below as i said the psd file is ready if you check on my um, telegram account it's there just go and download them yes go and download them and then use them for free thank you for um, sticking or thank you for being part of this channel and guys trust me i love you and once again thank you very much for supporting this channel to hit 1k i love you i'll, I'll see you in the next tutorials